Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our first look at Rogue Trader Warhammer 40,000. I think actually it should be Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader, but hey, you know, who cares? They both mean the same thing. So, right, so uh, we are got this tutorial thing here. You're in dialogue here you can learn more about current events influence character you are speaking to or even alter the course of the game's narrative your character's personal story depends on the dialogue choices you make available dialogue options are displayed on the right select the reply by clicking the left mouse button on it or pressing the corresponding digit on your keyboard got it right now then do I want to turn the game sound down a tad? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, voice music. Still seems loud. Um, Try that. Don't know if that's too loud or not, but we'll figure it out, I guess. I can always maybe reduce it down a bit in editing. Conrad Voigt. 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 The, the, I'm gonna. I'm gonna mangle all these names in this game, aren't I? An excellent place for contemplation. The man who has approached you is gazing down into the depths of the vast temple on one of the lower decks. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerising wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor's sublimity. And the Emperor of Mankind, the guide, the ruler and the higher power to which humanity offers their prayers for aid and deliverance. Most would be driven mad with despair if they knew the truth. Yeah. Certainly, I'm still going to turn that background noise down some more. Uh -huh. Dave, hopefully, that's more manageable. I think I can't hear myself thinking with it. Um, well, given that potentially saying anything that's not complimentary about the God Emperor could be classed as being accused of heresy, which is the worst crime in Warhammer 40,000 if you're aware of the law. Um, I'll go with that, although I do believe rogue traders, as I say, are a little bit given a lot of leeway outside of the law, but anyway, I think we would just respond with truly an awe-inspiring sight. Mm-hmm. That is the purpose of all temples to the God Emperor, to inspire awe and reverence. For it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with a chance to give their very life for the master of humanity. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitvir, master of whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. 
hyperlinks. You can hover your over the highlighted words to learn more about them. The tool tips that appear can help you better understand the world of the game or its mechanics. Words are highlighted when they first appear in a text. Scroll up the dialog box to see the desired highlight term again. Got it. Right. Uh, let's go with this. Um, and the reason we're doing that is just to make sure that Psych is a, a very... They're looked, they're looked down upon, they're kind of treated as... Just being a psyker is tantamount to a death penalty for most people in the Empire. Most of them are sacrificed on a daily basis to feed the Emperor's, as I say, sort of broken body on the golden throne um, the god emperor for anyone who doesn't know the god emperor of man was he's the most powerful psy psychic psyker that's ever been in humanity's history um, and he there was a big rebellion and he had to fight one of his own sons or when you say sons not sort of like kind of genetically manufactured using elements of the emperor's gene seed um, who'd then gone off and been empowered by the chaos gods that are existing within the Warhammer 40,000 realm and they had a fight and uh, he killed his son but he took a lot of damage because initially he didn't want to kill his son um, now his body's a broken a broken husk on the brink of death on the golden throne but 10,000 psychers are, who, uh, are basically their essence is sucked out of them on a every day to keep his soul tethered as opposed to his body although he is supposed to be an immortal or I think they call it a perpetual um, so he can't die anyway if he dies he's supposed to be able to come back at some point in time in the future I'm not I don't massively know all the lore of 40k I, I, I know bits of it because I've been sort of aware of all this type of stuff since I was a kid so along but I'm not like you know one of these like people that are immersed in in it um, but that's who he is so but I'm a, a sanctioned psycho so I'm just going to let him know so that he knows that's what I am. I am aware of that fact. It would have been unacceptable negligence to have overlooked such a detail when compiling your profile. Fate bestowed upon you powers of witchcraft and a duty to use them for the good of the Imperium. Yours is truly an unenviable lot. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius, and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor.
Let's go with uh, why am I aboard this vessel? Why have I been brought here? Let's uh, let's go with that. So that you may fulfill your blood duty. Whatever obligations you had before, they are henceforth null and void. By order of the Lord Captain, you have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader, indeed blessed by the God Emperor. So yeah, that's as I say, you, you're kind of removed from the ordinary day-to-day -day laws of society. However, you're still kind of also sanctioned by them. You do the deeds for them that need to be done, but and maybe you know, a little bit nefarious, a little bit dodgy, so to speak. Your former position may have been different from conventional service as part of one of the institutions of the Imperium, but from now on, a different fate awaits you. One chosen for you by the Lord Captain. I advise you to come to terms with this reality as quickly as possible. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Move your character by clicking. That was great. I didn't see that. Uh, change your point of view. Move the camera using the WASD or your keyboard rotate the camera by using QE keys or the mouse wheel now the mouse wheel makes it go in and out which is what I'd expect right I guess you just click on the ground anyway okay don't know where he went Interactable objects. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. They are marked with specific icons. Some icons allow you to study objects, others will transfer the character to neighboring locations or launch a small event. These icons become visible when your character is standing close enough to interact with the object. Click the left mouse button on the icon to perform the associated action. Some interactive objects such as doors or chests are not always marked with icons but the cursor changes when you hover your character hover your over them hover your cursor over the object if the cursor changes the object is interactable hold tab to highlight objects your character can interact with okay all these right got that let's move the camera what's this no idea. Crew officer, crew officer. Techno map. Does it show me a map anywhere where the guy went? No, right, let's uh Follow my lead. Okay, I guess I'm going through this door. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. What 
You terminated. <laughs> You've been ambushed. The battle begins. To survive in the grim darkness of the few future, you will have to face enemies of all kinds and fight for your life. These hints and tutorials will familiarise you with the combat system of Warhammer 40,000 Road Trader. Click the button at the top of the screen to start the battle. Okay, start the battle. You have been ambushed. The battle begins. If anyone doesn't know what services are, they're basically lobotomized prisoners, humans that have been turned into cyborgs and then made to do all the worst jobs in the M M Empire. Movement in combat. All battles, all battles in the game are turn-based and take place on a grid. On their turn, a character can move, attack and use their abilities. Select a cell within the highlighted area and double click left mouse button to move the character there. Movement points to determine how far a character can move on their turn. One movement point corresponds to one cell on a battlefield. Moving diagonally is more costly. Every second cell uses two movement points. At the beginning of each turn, movement points are restored to the maximum value. Note that once a character starts moving, this action can no longer be cancelled. Right, so let's see. I don't even know whether I'm ranged. 711, one creature within 12, so it, can I? One creature within a 12 cell radius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think so, yeah. Right, should I shoot him? What's this do? Ally, all allies in a circle within a five cell radius game, plus one resolve until the end of the battle. Additional stacks of this effect increase the resolve bonus. What does resolve do? Resolve influences how efficiently and for long characters can fight. It turns out of momentum gained at the beginning of each turn. Okay. Uh, gain plus one resolve. Every additional stack of effect increases resolve bonus by two. Okay. Uh, don't know what that does, but it obviously helps them get more movement points. Analyze enemy costs one action point. One enemy creature in the 20 cell radius, the operative targets one enemy within 10 cells from the operative. That target immediately gains plus 2 exploits. Exploits. If the operative hits a target with an exploit stack, the attack deals plus 5 perception, times perception bonus. More damage. The damage also increased by 10% for each exploit on the target. The attack removes all exploits from the target. Perception bonus. I don't know what my perception is. Uh, anyway, alright, whatever. We'll figure it out as we play it. I think I can shoot the guy. Uh, what was this? Oh yeah, that was that exploit thing, wasn't it? So what do I do? How do I shoot him? Uh, X. Now that's probably just to. Okay, I don't want to move. I want to shoot him. There we go. Just click on it and click on him, I guess. All too easy. 18, is that all I did? Other actions and end the turn. When you're ready to end your turn, press space or click the end turn button on the bottom right of the screen. End turn on the bottom right. 
and okay um, do I get to shoot again or not so this is my movement points this is my action points um, pistol shot one action point so I guess you can't move now you've fired your weapon um, I think I'll do it again then or maybe I can only shoot once what's this? reload oh, not my specialty disability, what did it say? does it need reloading? one creature within Reloads equipment. Shot count. Let's try it. Nothing I can't do. Ah, oh, no, that. Right. Well, as you can see, I'm learning a lot so far. What are these here? Inventory, character, journal, map. Allies in a circle. Okay, I'll press that. Oh, is it just one ally, is it? I'll give it to him then. And I've got one left, what's this do? Analyze an enemy. Suits my purposes! There you go, there's all my movement points done, so I guess that's it's space to end turn. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Okay, very good. Destroy the out talk to spread out no one is allowed to enter the premises. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. Okay, wonderful. End of this corridor. You didn't say which corridor. You can open the map using M to orientate yourself. Okay, M. Uh, it's at the end of this corridor, but you. Well, that doesn't really help me because it's it's at the end of this corridor, but you're not saying where. That's fine. Uh, maybe you mean up here. This door, I guess. That's all this here. Not gonna lie, I like the uh, I like the art style. It's very good. It's. Uh, Looks very reminiscent of Warhammer 40,000. Well, let's go up here anyway. I think this is where it wants me to go. Let's go in here. Assuming this is yeah, this is that ship, isn't it? Yeah, these things are like floating cities. Victory awaits. Yeah. 
they still they're not gonna get none shall stand in my way Elder thread that is simply irrational lady Theodora says the man dressed in peculiar garb his voice tight with tension his face half of which is covered by sin skin is twisted in grimace of displeasure and disbelief assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide practically a ad admission of heresy so that's Theodora um, I believe only about 40% of the game is voiced voice acted the rest is dialogue that you have to read Theodora, the tall grey haired woman pins him with a gaze her cybernetic eye flashing crimson then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done make a decision what will you do with Aeon 7th Edel, Edelfrad survey the room I'm here to speak with Lord Captain listen in silence while you are considering your answer Edelfred I wish to speak with someone else perhaps I shall hear something more interesting than incoherent mumbling Theodora nods in your direction approach Edelfrad what is this Edelfrad turns to you and regards you with indignation is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your conversations in such a fashion? Theodora, I give that permission to those with something of substance to say. Let us see if it was worth it. Theodora tilts her head, her lips stretch into a cold smile. This is Leothander, the second candidate for the title of my successor. The road trader guards you with a look that is imperious, predatory and oppressive. Step forward, Leothander. Your character's skills, passive skill test. Your character's skills reflect their knowledge and capability. Some dialogues automatically initiate passive skill tests. If such a test succeeds, new information will be revealed or hidden, or a hidden dialogue option will unlock. If your character is traveling with the allies, the party member with the highest score in the applicable skill is selected but each given passive skill test got it Theodora consider this hypothetical situation Aeon 6 a new world on the fringes of the Coronus expanse high seismic activity regu mag regular magma eruptions metamorphic rock deposits Prospects for large scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is what would you do with, the, with this poisoned treasure? Lord Xenos succeeded. Oh, Lord. Sorry, yeah. Also, my, my spell check. My uh, skill test succeeded. Those spirits could well be the native's name for dangerous aliens. I would firstly verify if that is indeed the case and if the population of Aeon 6 engages in Xeno worship. My warp uh, law has also succeeded. There are ways to confirm whether what is happening on Aeon 6 is witchcraft or not. It might cost several psychers to do so, but it will give us the answer. I believe I could use my personal abilities to ascertain their, whether there was sorcery on Aeon 6, but with crowd going down to the surface in person. These reports of spirits certainly sound like evidence of heresy. However, I would put my I would put my interest first no matter what it means I would have to use the riches of Aeon 6 would be mine. Aeon 6 must be purged for the good of the Imperium. I shall exterminate the heretical beliefs and otherworldly powers that rule the native apostates. Um, uh, 
Uh, I'll go with hmm. I want to do it myself or do I want to sacrifice some psychers to do it? <laughs> uh, hey listen um, as I said earlier psychers are frowned upon I know I'm a psyker but I'm one of the, I'm one of the allowed, allowed psychers state sanctioned let's play the horrible Warhammer 40,000 bar steward that everyone is thorough but presumptuous it took me a great deal to find one psyker who served me well for many years yet you speak of several Sanctioned psychers are rare and valuable instruments of the Golden Throne. There you go. Arcane cybernetic artifact that encases the God Emperor's physical remains entire and preserves them using stasis fields and scythe using ratchets. Or do you hand suggest that we use heretics who are an offence to the God Emperor's light? The guide, the ruler and the higher powers of which to which humanity offer their prayers for aid and deliverance. Most would be even my desert if they need truth. It would be rather careless of you to utter such profanity in the presence of his faithful servants. I gave a straight answer which I understood was still more than you could do. You are both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Theodore does, does it become any one of our status to engage in petty feuds. I find your term most disagreeable Ethelred. You will kindly alter the manner in which you address me or else you will live to forget it. Uh, ah, let's go with this one for now. I'm not going to start a fight as soon as I get there. Even amongst his flock, not all are, not all are of peace. Leothander, I suggest you familiarise yourself with the fact before you are sorely. Theodora, Ethelred, Theodora tone renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the office, officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in this in his purview. I beg your forgiveness Lady Theodora, your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forget the time. Oh he's a, he's a toady isn't he? He's a brown noser, a bootlicker. Ethelred bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparing you another look. Yeah, I'm, he's gonna meet He's going to meet a uh, nasty end, I think. Him and I wouldn't get on very well at all. In real life or in 40,000. Theodore's gaze follows him as he leaves. And then she turns to you. So, Leothander, why are you here? Was it not you that you sent for me? You have seeded the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Empress' service. Immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, lick spittlery. <laughs> she, just, she just accused me of doing what I accused him of. Compulsion to please. I value none of these things from the moment my em envoys came for you terms of your existence changed so it's basically saying yeah I live outside the rule of you know just following the dogma of the empire my name is Theodora von Valen Valencius Massimo of Scarus I am a rogue trader in the service of the god emperor of humanity and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic the warrant of trade 
a sacred relic document that affirms the preeminent rights of a rogue trader throughout the galaxy. Does it open up anymore? No. Kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honour to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and bow death and ruin us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Leothander, are one of those with the Von Valancius blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. One of, does this mean there are other heirs? Um, naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. Edelfrad may be somewhat dis concerted by the scale of responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders however I have a good feeling about him as a candidate you do oh my god he's awful he's a toady blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of the warrant of trade nonetheless your abilities and talents may yet prove useful if not the role of Lord Captain then for that of their closest ally Theodora sighs and looks away pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Voitvir served me for many years before he made his mistake. His kinship to me is most distant as is yours, nonetheless he does bear the name Von Valancius, even if he avoids using it publicly, and as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is closed to him. Voitvir's performance in his current role is satisfactory, or it used to be at least. Um, hmm. Okay, let's uh I don't like any of those options really. Um <laughs> The Vox what's this? I think that must be the eyepiece. A piece to sit used to communicate with short distances or to record sound. The Vox are thick to fear those attire suddenly comes to life but all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Theodora winces, shuts off the transmission, gives you an imperious nod. I have some time before the navigator, those are the people that allow ships to jump through the warp. A sanctioned noble mutant whose genes allow them to safely guide a warp capable void ship. Gives a signal to initiate the void ship's translation out of the warp and my presence is required. The warp is the... It's like space... Spaces between real space. It's kind of like... It's, it's where chaos reigns. Let's see if what, what it actually says. An alternative dimension of pure energy madness existent as a mirror to real space. Also known as the Immaterium. The Imperium and the ether, the sea of souls of the warp space. Navigator translation, what are these things? An incident took place on the officer's deck, some certain observing attack the crew. Where is your ship headed? What is my current gracious lord captain? Surely there are ways I can prove myself worthy. Um let's go with that one. Is that so? Perhaps the te techno mats were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Geller field. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. Theodora laughs nonchalantly. 
The grey-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Theodora, for the God Empress' sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumours spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such heresy amuses me. Idara eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whis whispers of her unseen advisers. She turns to you. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators and unused compartments to make ignorant folk speak of spectres dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who live yet. Cogitator, a type of digital computer. Uh, where is your ship headed? The Rikad system, the domain of rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Only three rogue tra tra traders exist in the Coronus Expanse, and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist Aus von Valentius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendour. I set the course for Rikad on the demand. Theodora grimaces, she gives you a stern look, then shrugs. For a very specific reason, perhaps I shall yet apprise you of the purpose of the voyage, but now is not the time. What are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb, it will take you time to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually I'll find a, p a post that suits you as I did for Edelfrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. Navigator translation. I'll ask it, but I already know. Theodora Shake said, Sometimes I forget that people without direct access to a ship's bridge may not know the first thing about how the void ship travels between stars. Vessels such as this one are capable of leaving real space and traversing into the warp, an otherworldly dimension of cruel and unthinkable forces. By entering it under the protection of a Geller field, we shorten the route to our destination, crossing distances that would require hundreds of years in a matter of weeks instead. Sometimes in days or even hours, that is how humanity spread across the galaxy. This is how we were able to build the Imperium, which spans millions of stars. Uh, I'll just go with that, I'm not going to say that. In that case I'll head to Theodora Vox Awakens once more, this time you pick it, pick up shouting. The Lord Captain freezes listening to the Vox cast then nods and draws her weapon. Disturbance is reported on the adjacent deck Seneschal. If the need arise protect the new blood. She glances at you, it is possible that he each the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. End dialogue. Right, well, I've gone over after this cutscene. I'll have to... Uh, Submit, and you'll die quickly. I'll bleed you dry. Right, I'll end it here and then I'll start uh, episode three already. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.